Oh god, this cooldown game. <laughs> <laughs> Hobbs and I played a couple yesterday morning and it didn't go well. I was just about to say, where is that old sack of shit? He works the night shift on uh, whatever the fuck today is. Okay. So what do we do? What do we two stack in here? <laughs> tank support or tank assassin? I think tank assassin's probably the be the way to go. Either tank assassin or two tanks. Okay. Do two tanks surely we'll get a support, right? Mm, not guaranteed. Q, 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 swap. What are you playing? Uh, Heroes of the Storm. Uh, I wasn't, I'll like play being, I wasn't like being clever saying his name. There's like a thousand Qs in there. That's why I said it like that. <laughs> I wasn't like, pew, 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 pew. Q, 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 swap. I need one of those air horns. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and start us off with a tank hero. Gary? Gary! Who goes with Gary? Mm. Anything that's got a CC to follow up on my trolls? CC to follow up. No, maybe? No. Or just damage? Anything that's got like fat, fat deeps? Maybe, just maybe. Well, the dual tank, huh? Think so? Yeah, if you hook him, if you take Gorge, I can, like, yeah. you and I could, Throw like, totally it. could. Yeah. Okay. The only thing is, is the way you lose this game is if the, the matchmaker says, you guys don't get damage. Sorry. Yeah. Other than that, we're good, though. Zero viewers on the Twitches. Oh, that was a quick cue, baby. That's my We did your... Right so we got your support. And Avala and Asmodan. That's... Good damage if they're played properly. Going Hamilton. Asmodan could really counteract that Abathur. Mm hmm. Uh, you and I aren't scared of Vartanus or Anubarak, really. No, and I've got. Fuck, we, we, we both have two. Two great control targets. You take Deckard or Jaina. Jaina yeah. They'll never get away. Jaina's gonna shred that Vala, I think. Vala. Vala, Vala. I just think that we just gotta make sure we're not... Well, even Artanis is kind of fucked. As long as you don't, we don't like do any of our like hooks or gorges on, on our throws on Anubarak, this is... Yeah, because be... you can just burrow away. Um, <clears throat> what was I gonna say? Um... I don't know. Fuck it. Cassandra! What's up? What up with it? Facility powering up. I'm, I'm not opposed to this. some OWs either if you're interested in that. OW? OW. Ow ow. Do I always take his. Q quest at level one, but I'm like, I'm like, I never finish it. And I, I think it's probably just a waste of. Fucking Should I go slam seconds. stitches? Always slam stitches. <laughs> That's my Five, favorite build, but uh, <laughs> three, I was open to any two, type of. Facility. Always Q Q stitches. The battle begins. Hmm. Dropping some frames oh. here. I'm shooting five heroes. I have a Deckard, it probably doesn't matter. Fuck it, let's take a range. <clears throat> uh 
Now if this Anubarak's shitty, and he just does his abilities, like, just uses them. Yeah, if he burrows in, we could oh, okay. Yeah. If he just dies, too, that's... That's preferable. And Artanis just died to tower's top, so... <laughs> Good. You have to control them. He's like, we need this siege, boys! <laughs> Oh. I need to not be playing that. You ready for this fall for this cane domination? Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Could still be dead. Yeah, nice hook. I'll try and keep you up. Nice, Jibble. On Jaina? Oh, no. Shitty ass stun. No, I've never played an Uber Act. He's pretty fun. Like, back, well, when, back when I like started, he was kind of like the worst tank. Yeah. Then he, then he became like godly OP. And now I think he's normal again? I don't know. The problem with him is he's literally just a stun boss. Like, if you can get a. Like, if you can feel okay with just, like, stunning people for days and that's, like, all you do, then it's, like, kind of fun. But if your team has, like, no damage and you're just stunning people and watching them walk away from it, it feels real bad. Yeah. Fuck! I always think I can edge around the side of a minion to get a hook and it always hits him. <laughs> oh! Okay. okay. Get around this badass. Alright, you're gonna Q in. Or E, I think it's a Z, whatever it is. You're gonna do that. Alright, Asmodan's not grabbing the point top, though. That's alarming. He's probably losing to Artanis, honestly. Yeah. Should Bala go help? Mm, no, because it, it, well, you and I are like we're pushing pretty hard down here. I was gonna so say, we could just live here like this, and we're still winning. Mo like, yeah, someone's on the point up here. Oh yeah, I forgot that makes him unstoppable. Hey, sippy. No. You guys, okay. Well, I don't know if you know this actually, but there's a change on this map now. Oh. Whether you win or lose, even if you have 0% on your channel, you always get at least a 50% wave. Really? Yeah, it was like their way to like combat the snowballiness of this map, right? Like. Get oh, it. nice. <laughs> I guess technically one of us. Oh, my, my girls. Killing technically, one of us could just do our ability to an Uberak and then force him to use Z, yeah, and then the other one. It out. Oh, sorry, Malfurion. I took that globe without waiting for you. It's too bad, bitch. Gotta be faster than that. Take this other tower down. Holy shit. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I hooked his ass. Damn, Vol is deep as the fucking. Fuck, I tried to throw him over.
if you don't want to fucking. I'm coming, I'm coming. He's fucking oom as shit. Fuck away from me. I'm gonna go top. I'm gonna fuck this, uh, Artanis up. I, I don't understand why this... An Uber or what the fuck is his name? Asmodan. Like, why is he not at least trying for the for the pad? Like, <sighs> the hook. We almost got him. Death status confirmed. They're rotating way better than the I thought Tannis put that on me. What the fuck is that? I don't know, I think our I think our uh Asmodan's just not very good. Like yeah, if he's if he's losing that's fine, but he's like not saying anything, like he's just losing up top, like silently. Mm. I hate Abathra, I wish they would just take him out of the game. <laughs> this is not fun to play against. Well, I like that, I just don't like him. <laughs> I'm just ready to like be able to queue for quick match and not have to play against him every fucking game, you know what I mean? This Artanis is actually quite good. Artanis got buffed recently too, so... Fuck out of my way. Honestly, if you can hold your own up there, like you don't have to win the lane, but just like soak the XP and don't let them get anything going. Um, we could probably do pretty good down here. He's kind of fucking me up. Yeah, like don't don't worry about winning. Just try and. Yeah. What was that boy doing in our towers? I gorged him. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the beacons are reactivating. Select a talent. Shit. Okay.
We can keep him staggered. Oh, never mind. I was falling. No! Fuck, dude. We have to keep. We have to kill the fuck. Oh my god. You have Vala coming for you. So you're yeah, defeated. Nice. I'm, sure I'm pulling all the fucking scops to fight this goddamn Artemis. Nice. If you guys can hold that pad, we got it, baby. We've got him staggered, but Artie's back now, so... It feels so shitty playing against a team that's got like a ton of globals and your team has no, no globals at all. Like the fact that we're oh! in Oh my god. The hooks. No, 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 no. The fact though that Artanos can put his beam on you from like across the map and Abathur can influence the game from across the map and we have none of that. Yeah, that sucks, dudes. Yeah. So as long as our I team doesn't, the, I gotta take the shield. That'll help me get a shitload of fucking You guys get that pad back? Had it in there. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, fucking. Oh, uh. What? This fucking retro where, you, where are you going, Asmodan? What is that? Fuck, dude. I'm not even gonna use my cooldowns on you anymore, you dumb bitch. You dumb bitch. You dumb slut. We just lost another objective because Asmodan decided to- I threw him out of their stun, right? Oh. Instead of retreating just straight back the line- down the lane, he fucking comes down and go- and starts wrapping around this shit. 
As he's got a Jaina casting every spell in her spellbook right up his ass. Jesus. Like, just fucking back. I'm just gonna go top lane, like, none of these idiots in bot lane are doing anything. We... maybe we should stay as well. Just negate the beacons all together. I don't know, as for that our team is gonna I think we lose no matter what we do. I don't think our team is smart enough. The Zerg are bearing down on us. Oh, I'm too smart to die! And their team... and the... we got a quick match. The Blizzard thinks it's okay to give one team a shitload of global control and the other team no control. It's like... And our only lane clear in the entire game just thinks that it's not a big deal that our other losing keeps and shit. That Artanis single handedly won them the game. He probably had to have it their hat a lot, didn't he? I don't know, I wasn't even looking at that honestly. I have to go back and watch it again, but he just he just gobbled me up. I couldn't even hardly get past his shield. My attack speed's so slow and my cooldown is so long I didn't really have a ton to throw at him. I was able to trick him once or twice and pull him into towers or whatnot, and Bala helped me and then she left, but He got a buff recently. So he's probably busted. Blizzard never knows how to just buff something like slightly. They always just go way too ham. Always. So now he's probably just flat busted, and you'll have, you'll see Artanis in every game for like a couple weeks, and then they'll nerf him into not Dirt. even being a hero anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna need help down here. I'm coming. I just hit that. Oh. Huh? We're dead. You know, not nor normally you can't blame a loss on like one particular thing, but I will 100% blame this loss on that Asbidan. <laughs> like all he had to do was click in a straight line, and he couldn't even fucking do that. We got him. He's not even gonna dunk at him. There you go. And he missed. Oh, good. We were gonna get that objective too before he fucking dies. He almost got his destroyed. That talent actually just made me pretty formidable against Artanis, but it's not gonna matter now. No. We Welcome to YouTube, the beacons. They're up and running. Man, that started off so promising. Yep. Like we didn't have to win. We didn't have to win the top lane. We could have just sustained top lane, and we still would have won the game. Yeah, we were shredding them in the bot. But you and I, we haven't been able to. Play we have no focus fire either. Fearing was dead. Great. Just great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. I hate this map, dude. 
I wish I'd just get rid of it. You have been slain. I don't like any two lane maps. I do. But... Well, I like I like. What's the one with the immortals? Battlefield of Eternity. That's a great map. But I think I think two lane maps they just don't offer anything to come back. Like, there's not enough XP on the map because there's only two lanes. That how do you come back in this game if you're behind? Like you can't even really soak lanes. And the and the the objective is in the flat center of the map, and it spawns so much that if you're behind, you can't really risk like not going for a, a single pad. But then you just put yourself in harm's way because now you're like out and about. I think I think if they added a third lane straight down the middle of this map, it'd be all right. Get back in there, baby girl. He had good stats, he just fucking entered at the worst time. He, just, he had good stats, but that wasn't that doesn't reflect. But he anything. didn't communicate one time with the like he just let Artanis kick his ass in the top lane, didn't say a word about it. And then he comes bot and he's doing fucking great. We were actually rocking him, and then he decided to just lose his mind. Hmm. I think this volleyball trophy is retarded. <laughs> yeah, it's a stupid skin. I don't like that skin. I mean, she looks awesome in it, but I don't like the like any of the other aspects of them. Yeah, I like all of it except for the trophy. The trophy is weird. I like the ball and everything. I like the whole concept. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Like, why doesn't she have like anything else? Like, even like I know you don't use a tennis racket with volleyball, but like even that would be like more sporty than some stupid trophies. I am, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I like the whole thing except for the trophy. Like, who gets a trophy and a medal? <laughs> Fucking overachiever. <laughs> Try to think of what should we just go like straight burst damage and just try to annihilate people or what do you think? I mean it is Q, uh, QM so I mean we could do team league or just a uh, quick draft or unranked draft. Done to try unranked. It's probably the only way to not get a Abathur, right? Maybe. Just get that download going after this game and we'll try that before it gets it's too late. See, it's got all the things that Fortnite has, like, but it minuses the building out, which is like good for me, because I don't really like the building of Fortnite very much. But like the gun plays smooth, like the game obviously functions exactly the same. But then it's basically, it's almost like Overwatch, because you have, like, your abilities, like, just a couple abilities, mm -hmm. and your super is basically, that's not really a super, but, like, everyone, every character has its own mobility spell, like, whether it's a blink or a roll or a leap. Yeah. So it's, like, a fairly balanced, like, they're all different, but they're, they're pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. The Forges. Hmm? The forges are keep the game like fluid because there's only a couple of them throughout the map, but that's how you get your best gear because you have to, like forge the gear, right? Mm. So you want to forge so you can get all your best stats. So you'll see that like someone's using the forge, which like creates team fights. It's almost like seeing like a a giant structure and knowing someone's like just built there in Fortnite, like you know someone's there. It's like the same concept. What are the cosmetics like? Uh, pretty much exactly like Fortnite. Like, are there skins? But, and stuff? Yeah, and there's like the battle pack, like the same formula. 
or the battle pass, whatever it's called, where you like do seasons and you try and like rank up as much as possible. Yeah, that's a battle pass. And there's mounts in this game. You press, you mount up just like you do in Hots. You press Z. Yeah. You can get different mounts, which is kind of like another cool cosmetic. I keep waiting. For I think my favorite. I keep waiting for Han Showdown to add in more monsters to it. Oh, that'd be so sick. They they've added a bunch of weapons and stuff like that, but no new monsters. That's a game I hope they don't give up on. They just like actually keep pushing. Yeah. We never streamed that one, unfortunately. No. Should've. I think we were on our hiatus. Yeah. <laughs> It was after the uh, the Hots debacle when we went on like a 16 game lose streak. I cared way too much about the game back then though. Like I was yeah, fucking studying fucking it and playing it every night and I was like listening to podcasts on the way to work. Like, yeah. So I got so frustrated when people wouldn't just do what what is like to me was obvious, you know? Yeah. And that, <laughs> I'll never forget that guy that was in both of our stream chat just yeah. like shit. <laughs> we were getting drunk too like <laughs> I hated it I, I was so much in my, there was like fresh Overwatch characters in the game too at the time yeah, that was awful so like I hated the game who was the I think it was D.Va just come out wasn't it D.Va, Genji, and Lucio had pretty much all come out within like a few months of each other Johnny what's up you wanna ready up <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> Not broadcasting. Fuck you. <clears throat> Let's see how that deal is going. Battlefield of Eternity. I want to go leave me. Do it. Or do I want to go butcher? This is a you want to go leave I'll go leave me. Actually, I don't know. We got a Jaina. If you go Butch, I can go Zarya. I'll do that. If maybe our team will actually build together. Like, build with each other. Make a nice comp. Otherwise, they'll probably flame you for taking Butcher. Let's see. But that's... If if none of us take Lee Ming, we should maybe banner. I'm gonna ban Genji on this. Well, actually, fuck Genji. I don't care. He I don't want to deal with he this. He would be a bastard to our Jaina. Like Genji wouldn't be a bad choice. I'd much rather. He got nerfed. A than a Genji. He got nerfed recently, so I'm kind of hoping that like people stop picking him as much. He's still way fucking annoying. Oh fuck! I forgot. I just I already forgot the Artanis is kind of stupid. I'll gobble him up if I can finish my quest. I'm here to help. So it begins. Okay, so we have no tank, no support. Oh fuck, dude. Oh, never mind. It's a different one. Thank God. What? I thought that Asmodean's that Asmodean name looked like the one we just had. Oh no. <laughs> I can't solo tank Azaria though. Okay, that, that is... I can go Tyrael or Johanna. Johanna has a lot of staying power, but Tyrael's got better like blocks and a little better mobility. Call it. What do you want? What are you saying? Sorry. <laughs> Tyrael or Johanna? What do you want? Johanna. You'll have to probably main tank now, though. You can swap to something more bruisery if you want. Ooh. That's deep. 
I'm just trying to think though. I feel like the Lunara will fucking shred me. Mm. I won't be able to get near. I can bully the the Lunara pretty hard. I like that too. I always like Staka. The Crusade calls. I don't know. I think when you pick Jaina and Asmodan in your first two picks on this map, I think that's highly questionable, but <laughs> we have like no immortal damage now. It's gonna have to be Jaina and Asma. If Asma goes the he doesn't really Laser build doesn't even really hardly exist anymore, does it? I don't know. All, ever since the rework, all I've ever done is globes. Yeah, that's what everybody's doing. Like, that's the best thing. Uh, See, I was gonna ban ETC, but... So they they win the... They win the... The raid. Like, we have to defend, because they win the race oh, ten yeah, times out of ten. Like, look at their team, for fuck's sake. I wouldn't be opposed to Morales here. Hello, grant us no, we're gonna get another shitty Malfurion. They had he got his ice block taken away, by the way. I never used that shit anyway. I think it was pretty good in like a dive heavy game to stay alive. I don't know why they took it from him. I feel like ice block just pro prolongs your death by like three seconds. Not if you have good teammates. Ice block only works if your teammates are like aware of the game that they're playing. Like if I saw you ice block. I would know to be like, okay, I'm gonna save like a shield for him when his ice block wears out, or I'm gonna like, you know, ally toss him as Garrosh, get him, get him out of harm's way. Most of your teammates, when you ice block, they just go, hmm, they walk better, away, better leave you to here. fucking die. Johnny, we should play some PUBG. Oh, I'd be terrible at that game. <laughs> Why? You see how terrible I am at fucking... You're great at shooters. Only Overwatch. And I'm only good at it on, like, two heroes. I think you would end up liking it a lot. It's straight up, just like, person versus person, no bullshit, really. Get ready for well, if we can get into Ro Realm Royale and I can actually get a taste of, like, a Fight for this Battle Royale-style game, then I'd be, I'd be for it. Yeah, like, I had a hard time, like, it was a really hard entry for me. I bounced off it a lot, but, like, once I started, like, getting to where I could do decent and, like, get a couple kills here and there and have that fun that everybody's, like, having with it, I understand it. Like, I'm definitely not going to be, that's not going to be, like, the only game I play my whole entire life. Like, a lot of people have been, but I'm having fun with it. Did you let... Do you like it more than Fortnite then, or do you like, or what? Well? Yeah. I like both of them for different reasons. PUBG has the best gunplay. Uh, Fortnite has it has a lot of fun, fun things. Like, cosmetics, skins, challenges, which are really fun to like, strive for. Um, and it's got way better support. And optimization. Yeah. And they're constantly updating them. Constantly. And, and often, too. See, the reason that I like Realm Royale is that I like the controls. Like, obviously, you can map your controls however you want. But what I like about it is that because it's like you get these abilities through these chat, like, through playing the game, it almost feels like I'm playing Overwatch. Like, the exact same amount of abilities. I can even map them to like Q, E, and R and stuff, you know what I mean? To do, to like, to like compare uh, MOBAs into like, like, or er, battle royales into like a MOBA space, I would say that. I would say that Fortnite is like the hot so of uh, Battle Royale. Really? Just cause like, like HOTS is like sillier than like League or Dota, you know? 
Yeah. And it's I mean, they more, don't. It's got more weird concepts. Like, there's two lane maps and weird brawls and all sorts of different mm -hmm. like that and characters that are wacky. And then I would say PUBG is like League. It's kind of like straight, like one map, no funny business. Yeah, it's 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 all business for sure. And like I don't know. I just can't see, but I don't know. I I need a game. Like the thing that gets me addicted to games is when I can like have like a flow, if that makes sense. Like when I play Overwatch. Like, I just, the, I don't know, the layout, the buttons, like, the concept, it all just flows. Like, it, I don't have to think about it. Fortnite, for me, I think the building just threw me off. I was just always focused too much on trying to be, like, good at building. Yeah, and it's really, it's, it's a huge hill to climb. But, like, once you get semi, like, once you get the, like, the muscle memory to, like, swap into your building and then throw up a ramp really fast to fight behind, it's, uh... It's a lot better, because then you can, like, basically every gunfight that I get to, I just throw up a ramp, and I use that to fight behind, and that serves me right. a large I've seen a couple time. people, they just, like, build straight up into the air, basically. Yeah. And, it, and at the end of it all, it still comes down to who's the better shot, and who outplays who, well, and also, like, what loot you have, but... I think we defend. defend. Yeah. I must find another way. That was I was going to, but nobody came for me. Coming down. Fuck. They actually defended. How is that? I don't know, man. I think they broke Malfurion, honestly. I don't think he has enough to keep himself alive. Be like, I don't know. I, it feels real bad watching your Malfurion just get ran down. You know what I mean? Attacks increase regen or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I think Blizzard. It'd be great if this game wasn't so based on the draft. Like you, like ninety percent of the outcome is based on like what heroes you pick, and I think that's why everyone like gets pissed at it, and it's not as big of an esport as you would like to think. That's why I think the third ban is actually great, because now you kind of have to pick. Like, there's just not that many great heroes to pick when all of the, the shit's banned out. So everyone has to pick something kind of weird, right? I definitely want to get into the old... Oh, I got nothing for you, baby. Get into what? I definitely want to get into like a realm royale style game though. Yeah. Like I like Hots with you and with you and Hobbs, but I really don't like playing it with like a two stack or a solo stack because I think you have to have at least three people on your team to like give yourself a consistent fighting chance. Like. Yeah, I agree. These two matches have gone far worse than the last one we had three. No fuck. Yeah, let's, uh, There's two top though. There's two top if you guys can get something done to, down there. Okay. Um, Grey Mang went missing though, so he might be coming down. Oh, never mind, he's still here. They're trying to gank you, boy. Mm-hmm. Greymane's missing again. He could be coming bot or he could be 
He could be hiding in the in the shadows. You and all your servants in hell will cower before me. Hey, these guys all listen to my pain. There you go. Well, they're actually, uh, yeah, like we have to defend. Fuck. We have to protect our Malfurion too. Fuck, guys. Like, like he's pa like he's pathing through their entire team. I don't know, man. I don't like playing games where you first pick Asmodan Jaina on this map. Like, it just, like, that's so bad. You put your whole team at a disadvantage. They need to incorporate hero swaps. You just don't pick heroes like that on a map where, unless you, you're planning to defend. Like, if we were defending and getting kills and then whittling our immortal down while they were dead, that's one thing. But you don't go, you don't pick those two heroes and then you go straight over to start racing the immortal. Like, we that's just. Yeah. We're done after with Hots after this, 100%. Yeah, as guys saying, we should switch up. I'm okay with- oh, there's, there's the kill you were talking about. Enemy We're going for two! We're going for two! No, no. Fuck. And Malfurion has no burst healing either. I guess I'm done here. It's Jaina. Nope. Bye. Well, well it's Alex Dragon Point. Yeah. They take Ice Block from Malfurion, but Alex Straza can still fucking fly into the sky as a dragon. <laughs> seems, seems balanced. Mouth had a really long time in the sun as the best healer. Mm hmm. You know, they might do that shit on purpose, like, eh, let's make this person the best healer for a little while. I'm sure they do dictate... I think they dictate based on HGC too much, though. Like, you'll see, like, a lot of heroes that get, like, nerfed, that you never see in your own games, and it's like, what the fuck is this? Well, unfortunately, most people start picking their heroes off of, like, what they see in HGC and stuff. Yeah. I think that's why Sergeant Hammer got nerfed, actually. It's because someone picked her in a game, and then it dominated that ACC game too. And then all of a sudden, her pick rate went up by like two hundred percent. Oh yeah. I got a lag. I might be DC'd. What? The fuck? I'm alive, kinda. I'm. I'll never leave this position. I, I am completely frozen up. I mean, they do have a dragon. Though. Oh my god. I'm. A oh, there I go. Back. Holy shit, I'm alive? <laughs> what? No way. Wait, wait, did you AFK? Nope. I mean, not AFK, did you DC is what I meant? Yeah, could you not hear me? I could, I just was in the middle of a team fight, so I, like, I couldn't hear exactly what you were saying. Yeah, we were all mixed up, and all of a sudden the stream just froze. Damn. You know what it is? I guarantee my Steam is updating something else after I've downloaded that game. Oh, fuck yeah. Sucking my bandwidth down. I want to back for just a sec so I can close to you. Of course. Right. There is no oh, I'm dead. <laughs> we're actually not even doing that. Well, kind of. Like, we're still losing, but we're not losing as bad. Huh. 
I'm dead just so you know, I, for like 10 more seconds, so as long as we don't feed 4v5. I say you guys back off, let the dragon wear out. The Marsh Pit, god damn it. I was trying to leave, but we all got mobbed. All we had to do was back off. I was trying. Well, I know you were, but <laughs> the fucking three fifths of our team was. I mean, I'll get him. I'll get him. <laughs> Enough. I seek better ground. I think the reason I like Overwatch so much more than Hots too. I try and get Hobbs to play, but he fucking hates that game for some reason. He hates Overwatch. Yeah, he hates it. But like, dude, games like this in Overwatch, we would if we could have had three or four, maybe even five, shitty quality quality games in the time that this game is still going on. Like, if you lose in Overwatch, you lose in like, and then you're just like, oh, I'm on to the next one. You know, I forgot all about that shit. But in this game, if you lose, sometimes you lose for like 25 straight minutes. You can still fight before they're they're 16. Fuck you. They're 16 now, so now we're probably fine. Fuck, I can't get past my own teammates. I got him. Fuck! Our mouth ends up in the middle of things for some reason. Did I not mention wow. This is Holy shit. Death. I can't believe we didn't get a single thing out of that. <laughs> what a bad day. <laughs> I don't know, man. Our first pick, Asmodan, decided that defending was better than getting some kills, so he we didn't even have him. Well, thankfully, this is over. It's also weekend hots too. That's yeah, another yeah, yeah. thing. I forgot that today's Friday. Your core is under attack, heroes. Holy shit, Malfurion just got instantly at the race. You will rise again, hero. I am the Gravekeeper. Artanis comes in. Taunts on the stairs as if our team wasn't complete garbage. As if that was like an, a competitive game for him and he showed his true skill. Fuck off. Hey. So you want to do Overwatch or Realm? Uh, let's try Realm. Okay. Might as well try something new today. I'm I think my favorite thing about this game, though, is, uh... So you turn into a chicken when you die, as opposed to, like, yeah, just bleeding out. I saw that. <laughs> and, if, and if you live for 30 seconds, you auto-revive. Nice. Like, you, you can get revived by your teammate, or you can just live on your own. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna end the stream and then start it back up when we're ready.